you guys. It's raining in LA, which is like my favorite thing. I think it brings good luck, rain, so I'm pretty excited. Um, but we are cleaning like madmen at 8.30 in the morning because today, Danny is coming over. And you guys know, because I've talked about it, that I have been using an organizer and an intuitive um, like spatial specialist to help put our, our entire apartment together and um, she's gonna come over to make sure we didn't fuck everything up essentially and uh, we're also gonna get into some of the organizational tips she used because um, we did downsize from our loft um, in the middle of the summer so we were having a really hard time trying to figure out how to best utilize the space especially with all my camera equipment and all the pr packages i get and brian's shoe collection sweater collection t-shirt collection pants collection essentially so um let's hope this is all up to her standards as i'm putting laundry away <laughs> danny's here and she's looking way cuter than i am <laughs> makeup on and stuff. I want to start in the closet because what we're going to do is basically do give you guys tips as to what Danny did to make this clusterfuck less of a clusterfuck and like just really streamline it and make it just feel better. That's how I would explain it. So do we want to start in the closet or the, the, bathroom. the bathroom? Okay, let's get down to business. Yeah. So I showed you guys some um, like BTS of us pulling things out so that's something that we did in every room was that we first pulled everything out of all the drawers and cabinets just to see what we had and then we edited and from there we we were able to organize um not only by category but by how often i used each product yep so the products that we use often are in the front and easy to access and then the one products that we don't really use that much um, are in the back or actually in a utility closet it's all sectioned these are all like little sections in the be uh, bathroom so this is kind of like brian section and the dog yeah. section um and then over here like she said masks this is kind of the hair area then here's the skincare and even within the skincare is sectioned off thanks to these containers, which are all from the container store. You guys are always asking me, and I wish this video was sponsored by them, but they're not. <laughs> the other amazing part about these is they come with the dividers, so yeah. it's like a little mental note around how things are sectioned off. And then really cool is that they stack and interlock on top of one another. So yeah. it's basically like a filing system for beauty products. Yeah. And these are actually one of the most affordable bins that the container store sells, which makes them really awesome and accessible because you can use them we also use them under the kitchen sink. They're really utilitarian yeah, we did. in that way. We turn this into sort of the first aid situation and supplements. Yeah. So that way it's really accessible to grab what you need. You can take these out. They're also file sorted as so well. So this is the mini sec, the mini version. Uh, uh, version of the big guy here. And before it was just all in, it was actually in this container here all the medicine and it was just really inconvenient and hard to get to so this also makes it clear as to what we need to get more of like yep. if we run out of something what and another pro tip is whenever you have medicine or anything um really not buying it in excess buying just what you need and putting it in clear bins makes it easy for you to see what you have oh yeah that's um, a good tip yeah so this is pretty much body care here <clears throat> sun care as well as feminine products. And then here is like moisturizers and body oils, which mm -hmm. are closer to the shower, which is something you would access on this side of the bathroom. There's these sort of like three tips for your closet and this is how you should do things, but know that like the reason in the work that I do, it's very intuitive because each space is very personal to each client. So maybe Asia uses something like her winter coats very infrequently. That's something we might put further back in the closet versus someone who lives in a place where it's really cold and we need that all the time, it would change where things are. So it's all very intuitive and personal to each person. So by the way, I uh, discovered Danny through my uh, fitness blogger friend, Rainy, who's used her quite a lot, mm -hmm. but 
I finished before her <laughs> because her house isn't yeah. done yet. Yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, before we end the video, of course, Danny's information will be in the description box. She's obviously based in LA, so that, do you do like I do online virtual, stuff? yeah. Oh, I do cool, cool. a lot of virtual stuff, helping support people um, in their spaces virtually. It's a really great option because a huge part of it is just I use my expertise to guide you and help you edit your space, tell you what products you would need to make a huge difference in your life, and then um, help you figure out where they best go within your space. And yeah. surprisingly, I can do that all virtually. That's crazy. <laughs> it's a, it actually made made things so much easier to get rid of when things were, like I wanted to keep things, and then she like gave me a look like, do you really need to keep this? And yeah. I was like, okay, I don't have to keep it. Yeah. Um, so it was really helpful to have that support to system. Have that. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Or just someone to kick your ass and say, exactly. you, don't, you don't need yes. this for, <laughs> it's 10 years old, get yeah. rid of it. To the ba uh, bedroom? Yeah. To the bedroom. We spent the entire day, five hours, doing this tiny, tiny closet. But there was a one big thing that we, one thing to note when you're doing any space is that sometimes things can be interrelated. So. As we were going through the closet, there were things that maybe don't necessarily live in a closet, like some office supplies was in the closet. Mm -hmm. So we ended up, sometimes there's a lot of overlap between spaces, which is something to know. Mm -hmm. um, ideally, we keep really only closety things in a closet. Yeah. And then we made better use of her outs, um, her console table in the living room and they redid the utility closet. So that way there's really no overflow of like business stuff in the bedroom. We pulled everything out like we did in um, bathroom. the bathroom and then I added stuff out. Brian wasn't here. So uh, we kind of, it just, it looks cleaner. Yeah. Even though we didn't really get rid of We didn't get rid much. of a ton in the closet, but what we did do was move a ton of things that you were previously storing in the closet yeah. into different areas of your home, like yeah. creating those systems and zones like we were just talking about. It was awesome. Asia already had these hooks here. Making space of vertical storage is extremely important in small spaces. Using the walls that you can to store things that you use really frequently. So these were their most used bags. So now they're really easy to access on yeah. a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and we did the same here with the hats. Um, she already had this in place, but she did have two shelves here yeah, you guys that she was see. using for her beauty that she uses on the daily because she prefers like her hair to do it in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. So in order to make this space wider and more accessible and not so crammed, we took these shelves off. We added an accessory section right here. So now all the vertical space is really dedicated to accessories. Also added these vertical shoe bags, which are really great um, if you are lacking, if you have more vertical hanging space but are lacking space along the floor. And a really important thing that I did specifically in Asia's closet was it didn't make sense for me to necessarily sp split things up by Brian versus Asia. It actually made sense for jackets, like if it was a certain style of jacket, like all denim is together, leather is together, coats are together, because when I try it sometimes in certain clauses, I can break it up to make it easy for both parties to find their things. Mm -hmm. But in this situation, it actually made more sense to combine it. Um, Especially because I normally wear Brian's clothes anyways. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Which is another thing I learned in this process that made it even more compelling <laughs> to blend their things together. <laughs> we had some like sweatpants and sweatshirts that are kind of like cozy clothes. Mm -hmm. They're a more bulky item, which is something to take note of when you're putting something like this in a drawer. Um, that's sometimes why you see sweaters like this hanging up because folding a huge sweater like this is going to take up half of an average size drawer which is not very good use of space so no you don't need to hang your sweatshirts but if you're struggling with the drawer space this is a great option because it actually takes up so much less space hanging on a hanger. A lot of her things were in like these wire mesh bins, which like everything just looks really messy inside of there. So using closed bins like this, and of course like investing a little bit more money at the container store and getting uniform bins is actually going to make your space look really streamlined. Some people have a tendency to like want to try and find a deal and they're like, oh, I can go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but you're not going to get all uniform bins and it's still gonna kind of feel chaotic. So mm -hmm. really taking the time to invest in like uniform products is gonna like, elevate your space like leaps and bounds. We reorganized the drawers here and just sort of created more categories. We got these drawer organizers here. Mm -hmm. They also have dividers that come with them, which makes it really easy to um, 
keep things in file folded. When things are file folded, it's much easier to find what you're looking for as opposed to things being in a stack. Yeah. Um, and then more dividers here. And over and you here, can actually yeah. fit more. You can folding your clothes this way in the drawers versus like I don't know flat Stacked, yeah. or whatever. For sure, it's all very easy now. I think that's like the biggest difference is that like before things were chaotic and sort of challenging and now it's like it's easy for you to find things. It's easy to move through your space. It's so much easier to maintain your space mm -hmm. and that's the goal. Yeah, I think I mentioned that in one of my budget videos is that even though we did a lot of things that are in drawers and cabinets that you don't necessarily see, it still feels like calming and freeing mm -hmm. knowing that everything is organized and in its place and when you open up a drawer or a cabinet that like stuff doesn't fall on you and yeah or you're just, not overwhelmed by the visual yeah. appearance of you're like oh never mind i just can't deal with it I, i'll just i'll just do later yeah that's you know? exactly what I and did. like <laughs> procrastination is not very um it obviously procrastination is not helpful in the grand scheme of things but when things are organized it makes it a lot easier to not procrastinate totally yeah. i mean now we come home and before we just we would all just throw everything on the kitchen mm -hmm. table and just be like Ugh, and then it piled up and then on yeah. a saturday i'm like okay this needs to be done now yeah. so we clean it but now again everything has its place and we want to keep it as clean and like healthy feeling as possible yeah. so we always immediately put things away now because we know where to put it yeah because it makes the most sense now yeah yeah so much easier cognitively like your brain power doesn't have to be allocated towards like oh well i don't even know where to put this yeah right? totally before that's kind of how it was you're like so i'll just deal with it later yeah but now you know where to put it so it's easy thank you <laughs> finally Yay. i'm so happy in yes. my house okay so danny just left um i need to go out in the rain i have a couple appointments today but uh, right now i'm finally catching up on some email work that i've been ignoring for the past two days and we're just having lunch. Yeah. All right, so we've been playing, what is this? Mario Party? Mario Party. We've been playing Mario Party on Switch. I would say like, what, two hours? <gasps> oh, they're collecting points! What? Dang. Oh, they're playing me. Damn. Computer? Yeah, it's 1 a.m. But I'm also editing, so we're doing some work. Vlogmas question of the vlog is How does your space feel? How does your living situation feel? I find that when I am not happy in a living situation, um, like I overeat, I'm really unhappy. It's just not a good place for me to be. It's happened a couple times, and our last loft was one of them. Um, so, yeah, take this opportunity to look around. Uh, see if you're happy or not happy in your place and what you can do to fix it because I feel like that's what this entire video uh, today was about so see you guys tomorrow looking for love ah okay bye